Hello folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Gnomish Airship by Goblin King Games for Moonstone. Okay, so taking a look at the Gnomish Airship for Moonstone by Goblin King Games. Right off the bat, this is for the Commonwealth and the box contains a singular Gnomish Airship and uh, it's cards. So opening it up. Get a bag with standard base plus flight stand. A bag with the resin components. And the card. More on the card in a little while. So we have a resin airship. Really nice cast. I know where the mould should split because of where that sprue gate is there. A little bit of um, flash underneath and the sprue gates will need to be cleaned off. Best do that when this is warm after it's had its bath. Uh, it'll be a little bit more flexible and you won't risk chipping or damaging it. Really nice pickup of the detail. The rope has all of that um, braiding in it. And then the uh, front of the airship with that lovely sort of filigreed winged thing going on. Our second bag of resin contains our teal Our aerofoil of some description, some fins, what look like a couple of little bombs, and a harpoon tip. And of course, our tiny gnome pilot peddling for all they're worth. A little bit of flash on that, but it's, um, it's like little furry flash. It will come off with the uh, toothbrush when it goes into the water. Or I'll take it off with the toothbrush now. Yeah, not much to write home about yet. Let's get him into the drink and then come back with him assembled. All right, the Gnomish airship, pretty much built. Uh, I will just do this. So there is obviously that hole in the base to take the flight stand. That allows your little gnomish pilot there to flutter around. Uh, I've kept this separate, although it will just lock in. So that circle that I thought was for the flight stand is actually the front of this. So he just locks in there. And then that gives you your gnomish airship. If you're ever looking for the silhouette of one, if you happen to be a Dominion or Lashavolt player and want to know what's coming at you, that's what you should be watching out for. Very easy build. The uh, fins obviously into here nestle quite nicely. There's a little bit of wiggle. So I use a gel super glue and then just um, make sure that they are orientated nice and square um, and then leave it to dry. The harpoon in the front has a beveled back, which means if you turn it the other way around, it sticks sort of um, at a weird angle. You, you Really what you're after here is the sort of 30 degree down type of angle there. But really simple build there, very crisp, very clean. Pop it there and actually, I really want to pop it anywhere. I'll pop it there so my harpoon doesn't get hit. Um, as to this, again, build very simple. The teal rudder just attaches to the back of this piece. The gnome pilot glues directly. You can see where the ass is. There's a little cushioned area there. And then the two, um, I suppose, steering columns glue to the top here. So you've got three contact points to get them on there. And then uh, the pedals 
just sit on that disc. The disc just slides between them. So very simple build, bombs onto the two wings or aerofoils or whatever they happen to be. So yeah, really nice. Slight seam lines on the uh, legs down here as well. Nothing egregious. I'll probably not even um, shave those off. I'll go in with a bit of wire wool and buff them out. Uh, that way I won't lose any of the creasing because it's very, very subtle. Uh, but otherwise, really nice resin. I'll set our pilot down and take a look at the card. There is no signature move. However, the Gnomish Air ship Normally, um, at all, doesn't do it, can't be targeted by it. Does have three arcane and a plus one evade. It's a slow moving blimp floating through the air. It's not dodging around. Up, up and away, it can move freely over all terrain and other models as long as you don't finish with your base overlapping. So that's fine. Uh, you can't fight, can't harvest. Bish, bash, bosh. It doesn't block line of sight provide cover or suffer from uh, falling. Uh, and when targeted by arcane actions, you can't claim cover either. So, you know, you're up in the, the air. Uh, it's like uh, those magnificent men in their flying machines, Kelsey Breeze. They're both thrower once per game. Um, it can be used unless you pay the two energy to reload. So one energy, 10 inch range, You've got three energy to play with, which means you can go right ahead there, fire and reload in a turn if you need to, or reload and fire if, uh, if you've done previously. Uh, works on greens. It's a X plus two piercing damage, and then the target is knocked one inch away. On a catastrophe, you suffer two wounds, and uh, this action cannot be used for the remainder of the game, so don't break your harpoon. Also has a pulse, two inch pulse, um, by dropping bombs for two energy. Again on greens, all other models within the pulse suffer X plus one damage, magical, and then are moved X inches directly away. But on a catastrophe, you suffer four wounds. So interesting, has a lot of viability for setting up there and taking pot shots of people um, because you're not modified by cover either. So. Obviously, you've got clear lines of sight. You don't have to worry about people sneaking up uh, on the ground. So it's great for area denial. Um, and also then, because the, the pulse, you can move in and drop bombs, knock things back, protect moonstones or characters, just interpose yourself, safe in the knowledge that they can't melee you back. So a really good blocking model, interesting support character for the uh, Commonwealth and the gnomes. So there we have it, folks. The Gnomish airship for the Commonwealth. Uh, really, really nice bit of resin from Goblin King Games once again. And really unique character for Moonstone. Um, the fact it can't be approached in any way, shape or form in melee is great. It just bobs away there in the air. So this support uh, model has some interesting facets to it. The fact it ignores cover means it has a great sweeping threat. Uh, you've got that sort of 10 inch range, but you're you're able to knock people away with the harpoon. Uh, but also you can interpose, uh, you can bounce in, use the pulse uh, and just knock everything back within two inches. Uh, so it's a good way of protecting moonstones or protecting your own uh, characters on the ground from being overwhelmed as well. So let me know what you think of the Gnomish airship and uh, what you would do to counter it as it bobs along up there. Clearly gunshots are required. Uh, until next time folks, bye bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.